Hello you all, happy Friday. In today's video, I have for you a Goodwill Outlet Bins haul. Here we go. Hello all, I hope you're doing well. I have a haul here and then I have um, something to show you that was sent to me and it's by a small business and super cool. So I will link their information in my description box. So let's go ahead and actually let's do that first. Why not? The lovely ladies over at Postcard Pantry is what the business is called, um, sent me some Easter things. They have sent me Christmas in the past and Halloween, I think. And so they sent me some adorable little pieces of vintage decor for my um, vignettes. So it says, Nicole, hope you enjoy these pieces from our Easter collection, Dawn from Postcard Pantry. And so I will link all their information. If you see anything you're interested in, or if you like the style of decorating, I highly recommend checking out their site for uh, their latest collection. Okay, so they sent me two of these. And these are like vintage postcards mounted on wood. So cute. So this one says... A happy Easter and has bunnies, which I adore. I love this green. It's like jadeite green. And then oh, this one is so cute. This little girl's face. Ah! And she's got the little baby animals around her and a, a basket for Easter. A song of Easter gladness. Oh, there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel in the tree. Oh, so she's adorable. So these I will put in like with, uh, wow. So these I'll put into like displays. You can prop it behind, you know, different items that you might have on display. It makes a nice backdrop. Okay, on to the bigger ones. Oh, adorable. So another jadeite green, which is fantastic because that's what I'm decorating a lot with and actually pink too. I still haven't done my spring decor, guys. I've been so incredibly busy. I just, I have all the tubs and totes out in my living room. I just haven't done it yet. So anyway, this is perfect because I'm doing lots of jadeite and I'm doing pink. So love that. And then my favorite piece, because this is not just for um, Easter, this could definitely go into spring. I mean, it's an egg, yeah, but it's a duck. <laughs> and it's so cute and it's blue and yellow. So cute for April. You know, I do a little April showers decorating as well. I think that's probably where I'll stick this because it's just so cute. Oh my goodness. And here's their logo if you're interested. And again, their information it says Postcard Pantry by Sycamore Creek. Their info will be in my description box. So thank you so much to Postcard Pantry. I love what you sent me. They're fantastic. Okay, so let's get on with my thrift haul. It's a Goodwill Outlet Bins haul and I spent $15. I have very a one very large item, which I will show you last. It's large and very cool. And they only charged me $2 because it was so big and it's not really stuff that can be recycled. So the way it works is that like, if there's metal stuff that doesn't sell, it gets separated out and sent to recycling. And the same with glass. This is what I was told by the manager. The glass also gets recycled, but stuff like wood things, that's why they'll cut a deal with you on wood things because they can't really recycle it. So I have one large piece and then my haul here. So let's go ahead and get into the other pieces and then I'll show the big one. Okay, the first thing I got was a little cookbook. I love this. This totally reminds me of Julia Child. I don't think that's who it is, but that's who that reminds me of. And look at, look at the pots and pans that they're using. It's the Revere Wear Copper Bottom Pots. I mean, I don't know if they're actually the Revere Wear, but they look like the Revere Wear Copper Bottom Pots that I adore. So I thought that was so cool. And it says Presto Pride Tested Recipes and Diet Information. And I don't see, yeah, I don't see a year printed in the USA. Hmm. Oh, Presto Pride is the brand on the cookware. Interesting. So it's not Revere Wear. It's Presto Pride, but it looks like Revere Wear, right? Very cool. So I like that because I like the cover and I haven't looked at the recipes, but sometimes I get good recipes out of these old cookbooks. Okay. The next thing I got is for the shop and it's, I don't exactly even know what it is exactly. It's a book and it has pages. So I don't know if it's meant to be like a scrapbook because it's like like a heavy cardstock page and then like a separator page. So I don't know, someone could totally use this as a junk journal, but I got it because it was nice and I don't know. I sell a lot of weird stuff like this in my booth. 
Um, if you're not familiar, I do have a booth at a vintage shop nearby. It's called the Pink Elephant, and I have a vintage booth in the basement. And yeah, I just sell a lot of cool stuff that I find. I don't have one like certain theme, but uh, vintage, I guess, is the theme. But even some of the stuff isn't quite that vintage. Like some of the stuff is 80s and 90s because 80s and 90s are very popular with the youths right now. So I do sell some of that stuff too. Anyway, so that's, if I mention the booth, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I found some funky prints and there were more of them, but some of them were in really rough shape. So these are going to the shop. So there's this one. I really don't know what this original painting was. It's a guy with a candle and a lot of books. And then this one was kind of weird. But again, weird stuff sells. So I guess, is that someone with like a toothache? I don't know. Not really sure. And then this one was a hoot and a half. <laughs> again, I don't know. They're just weird and weird stuff sells. So those will go to the shop. I won't sell them for much, but they're funny. You know, someone might like them. And then I got this because I thought it was so cute. And I haven't decided if I'm keeping this or not. I'll probably keep this one and hang it in. Well, I might hang this in uh, going down my stairs. I think I told you I broke one of my vintage paintings. It's a watercolor. I still have the watercolor, but the lovely vintage frame, it fell off the wall and broke. And so now I have a blank spot. So that might go with what's down there because it has that vintage frame look. Uh, it's not, it's plastic, which is weird. Anyway, thought that was cute. So that I think I'll keep and put in my stairwell. Okay, on to the rest. I found this, which is this very large uh, shelf, uh, like an architectural piece. Hmm, I don't know what that says, but I just thought it was cool. And it has brackets, so it's meant to be hung, you know, as a decorative object. I don't know where I'll put it yet, but I thought it was cool. It's like a corbel, is that what you call this? I don't even know, but I thought it was cool. And I'll find somewhere in my house to put it. And then I also got this, which I love. It's a cool old wooden bowl. So I have to clean it up. It's pretty dirty. And it says, this select Canadian birch wood is specially chosen and handcrafted, protected by vitrolac. An exclusive and lasting finish makes it totally resistant to water, food, acid, and oils. Interesting. Completely washable in soap and water and with normal care its beauty will be enhanced okay made in Canada so I just need to wash it with soap and water it sounds like so that's pretty cool I like these old wooden bowls I think they're neat so I'll find somewhere in my decor I like the wood tone it's gonna stay just as it is and find a home maybe on my coffee table but I do need to wash it first I could put filler in there or something so okay and now on to my big piece I love it I need to do some work on it, but it is oh, it's really heavy. Um, remember this was $2. Oh my goodness. It's this old wagon. Now it looks like someone crackle painted it. I don't think that's like real crackle. I think someone, I think this was probably wood toned because of the wheels. It probably had decals on it. If I had to take a guess, it was probably wood with decals on it, which I think would be cooler. Um, but then someone crackle painted it and it looks like they had something glued in it. So this is definitely a project waiting to be done. I love the wheels. They're gonna stay exactly as they are. I will probably strip it to be honest with you. Um, again, cause it just looks like someone's crackle paint job. I think it would be beautiful stripped and maybe like stained and distressed or something. And then filled with stuff to um, maybe do some kind of, um, not St. Patrick's Day, 4th of July um, decor. Uh, I don't know that I want to have it outside because I think it'll get ruined, but I'll think about it. So anyway, that's all that I have for you today. Not a huge haul, but I, oh my goodness, that's not all that I have for you today. <laughs> I forgot two items. These are great too. Ah, I got this. This is a Tupperware uh, batter bowl and I have sold these before at the shop. So this one is going to the shop. Um, let's smell it. Oh, doesn't have a stink. Sometimes Tupperware gets a weird smell but they're pretty popular. So that will go to the shop. And then oh, I forgot about this. I love this. I think it's so cute. It also needs a little work. It's this ceramic chicken hen with ceramic eggs. Now they're just kind of loosey goosey in here. So I will be doing something to it so that these aren't just like flinging around. Ooh, I don't want to break them. Um, 
but I'll probably do some sort of arrangement in it. Oh, isn't that adorable? And this is definitely going in my kitchen. Ah, I love it. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll figure out some way to do an arrangement with the eggs. So that'll be good. Okay, now that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed my haul from the Goodwill Outlet bins this week. Don't forget to check out Postcard Pantry if you're interested. I will link their information in my description box. And I'll see you on Sunday for a thrift with me. Bye. Mm -hmm.